That's right, Kathy. Coming to you live from Sandoval Hostage. <laughs> I am coming to you live from the Sandoval Hostage headquarters based in Scotland, where Traders 3 is currently being filmed. And Tom Sandoval's newest girlfriend, Victoria Lee Robinson, and longtime friend Kyle Chan are being held captive and forced to do live interviews in his defense <laughs> anyway jk i was method acting i'm back christina koga that's me um if you forgot anyway i have the full billy lee versus victoria lee smackdown video if there's one thing i can do is give props to up and adam for getting through an interview where he had no idea what anybody was gonna say now, I released a little summary yesterday and some clips from that you will see of me talking with different clothes. Work smarter, not harder, people. But this time, all of the clips of the things I'm talking about are added. Hold on, I have to burp. Uh, excuse me. Two things. One, there's a trigger warning for this video for a discussion of addiction. And two, don't be transphobic. Just don't. Billy Lee is a trans woman. If you don't honor this person's pronouns as she, her, or just say anything that would make me think maybe you might not like trans people or believe that they're people or whatever, you will immediately, as soon as I see it at least, be blocked from my page. Never to return again. Never to be heard from or seen again. Honestly on my page. I have made that clear several times, but there's always somebody new who tries. I'm just putting it out there right now. And while we're here, here are the rest of my rules. No homophobia, no transphobia, no racism, no sexism, no victim blaming, no slut shaming, no spectrum speculation, and no mental health diagnoses. Thanks. All of that should be easy if you're just a decent human being. By the way, this all started because of Joe. Guess whose fault this is? Joe. Guess who started this, Joe? Toot toot. Okay, let's get started. Well, you know, Billy Lee and Sandoval are not talking anymore. I yeah. Yes, I heard that. Yeah, because, well, I mean, let's, you know, the girl had to set a boundary. I mean, I know she got along with his girlfriend, so it's not about that. I mean, we're not No, it's not. Her. Well, it might be, but it's not. We're not going to. Victoria was like, Billy did not set a boundary. So then Billy goes on her podcast to be like, I wasn't going to say anything until she said that comment, but now I'm going to say it all. So you went on a podcast and briefly talked about and you're like I don't want to speak for Billy but she's no longer talking to Tom mm -hmm. and I've kept my mouth shut I literally have not said a word until you said something about boundaries yes. and then someone my publicist actually sent me this screenshot mm -hmm. and it's Victoria on this Bravo site which like are you really watching all the Bravo sites like I obviously She's addicted. Um, and she said, <laughs> she Billy like didn't set a boundary. And then she put a laughing emoji. I wasn't going to say a word until I saw this fucking text. Billy goes on to say on her podcast that Tom and Victoria are the most toxic couple ever. They fight all the time. Fighting is constant. I'm telling you, there's it's the most toxic relationship I've I ever, remember. I, ever seen in my life. You know, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Cry. Like, I know. They were drinking and, quote, doing together tom was sober for a very long time when he met victoria he started drinking again especially like how the house was a mess all the time there was drugs laying around everywhere he Sorry. literally was like just always depressed they were fighting all the time i would get dragged into the fights you want me to tell you why we were fighting T yeah we were fighting we weren't fighting all the time we were fighting actually um we didn't know this at the time so what was happening was, is um, Billy was trying to isolate Tom pretty much. She, I went there to like be there with him because he was like fighting with her and he was really upset. I was just chilling on the couch. All yep. of a sudden she bust in the house. She was literally uh. parked and watched me come in. Oh my God. And started screaming and yelling at him and I like we were doing something wrong when I was really just sitting there. So I got so uncomfortable, I immediately walked out. I, Billy had to stage an intervention, a failed intervention for Tom, but she didn't include Victoria and then Tom didn't show up to it. He's saying he's sick every single day. Yeah. He wouldn't show up for things for me. So Logan, I yes. created or a group of people and we all planned to meet. You want to call it intervention or whatever, oh, but we okay. all planned to meet at Kyle Chain uh shop when i did that i didn't include victoria 
everything was going downhill. Even his, like, Tom was the most hated guy ever. He was not getting opportunities left and right. No. There was times where he was broke. And when there's opportunity knocking on the door, whatever fucking brand decides to work with him, you should go to the meeting. But he was blowing things off like that. The intervention was created by her, but she wanted to say that it was me who created it because that way all the people in Tom's team will believe it and they will come and Tom will join. It was a failed attempt. He didn't show up. Victoria found out that I did a whole intervention without her. I don't have a good feeling about this because Victoria already told me what she said about me. So then I put Victoria and Tom on the phone and Billy has no idea. So she was telling me that Victoria is a drug addict, all of these things, and that she got Tom drinking and they don't wake up until 5 p.m. They're awful for each other. And Victoria's like a thirsty idiot. Anyone dating Tom, and I even told Tom this, I said they have to be somewhat thirsty and a little desperate in a way. And I haven't done anything besides literally like fall in love, literally like fall in love with somebody that I had no clue what I was walking into. I had no clue. So Victoria and Kyle Chan go on up and at him. Victoria was like, I wasn't going to say anything about this either, but you know what, Billy? If you want it, you got it. <laughs> kind of like that. Go you ahead. You wanted to go? Let's go, Billy. Yeah. I, well, I, now I want to know. I I'm wasn't like... going to, we weren't going to do this, by the way, at all. We were going to be very, like, put together and we weren't going to say anything about this. Yeah. Billy, I'm sure you're watching. Um, You, you kind of uh put the nail in your own coffin today. But then she was crying about how she takes care of her dad and she doesn't do drugs. And how dare you say that about me when you know I take care of my dad. I've heard her because she would call me slurring words because she would be on something. I just, I need to break up with Tom. And I'm like, why would you call his best friend and say you have to break up with him? I wouldn't answer her phone calls because she would bring me into these fights. That's she would what talk I this crazy shit. I've, it'd be two o'clock in the afternoon. This girl will be calling me, slurring her words, talking about how much she hates Tom Sanderball. What? But then you guys are together? Like, it blew my mind. And I am so worried about Tom. I'm just going to go ahead and say I was in a really bad car accident. I do sometimes slur my words. Um, I have, like, a speech impediment, I guess you would say. Um, especially whenever I get very nervous or anxious or anything, I do slip on my words. It has, I don't do drugs. It has nothing to do with anything like that. So that's actually very, like very triggering and upsetting to me to hear. I do work. Um, I also take care of my father. I've been taking a break from work. My dad um, had swelling in his brain and I've been taking care of him. So the fact that she goes on there and says, oh, she can't hold a job. She can't hold a conversation. My dad almost died <laughs> and um, he has memory loss and like i'm like i don't know i'm like <laughs> it's okay. just like it's just like come on just leave me the fuck alone like leave me alone like I the biggest bombshell i guess if you will of it all was that and there's no proof of this there's no anything and they spent a long time talking about how there could be proof but there isn't any proof on up and adam victoria alleges that billy told her that Kyle once tried to and take advantage of Tom. She was like, girl, she was like, um, you cannot trust Kyle. Kyle has, and this is something you should never say, no matter what, you do not joke around about this. Kyle has tried to drug Tom and take advantage of him. But don't tell Tom, no, you can't trust Kyle. Kyle's obsessed with Tom, this and that. And then so I, our arguments where you're asking, our arguments were stemming from Billy. There's a whole lot of time spent on whether or not their in-home surveillance camera pointed towards the kitchen was recording the conversation or not recording the conversation. It wasn't. Wasn't recording. And I was like, Tom, it, those fucking cameras have to be recording. Like, you go back and look. He's like, no, they're not recording. They're not recording. And I'm like, I like literally, I was like, please, please, please look. I just saw a red light on the thing. And I'm like, please look it up. And then it's not recording it's or anything. Apparently, Billy actually told Kyle that Victoria said that about him. Craziest thing is once she found out that we're on. She's a bully. Yeah, once she found out that I'm going to be on the podcast, she immediately texted me today. So I have proof that now she switched the statement saying that Victoria said that I wanted to drug Tom and take advantage on him. And how are you, why are you supporting her? Kyle shows his phone to show a text message that Billy sent to him after finding out that Kyle would be going on up and at him with Victoria. And the text message was like, 
why are you taking her side after she said this about you? And it was the thing that Victoria says that Billy said about him. Billy also said that Victoria like touched Ariana's stuff and was like moving her stuff around the house. Victoria says, no, I would never do that. So Victoria <laughs> demands that Tom move out of the guest bathroom ba- bedroom into the uh, master bedroom and get rid of Ariana's stuff. No, that is not my place. I respect their relationship that they had. I respect Ariana. I would never want anyone touching my belongings if I were in that position. I have not touched any of Ariana's things. I would not do that. I have nothing but respect for her and their relationship. They have a past and I would never. Also, um, why would I want to sleep in their bedroom? Isn't that a little weird? Also, Victoria was like, (laughs) should we talk about this? I wasn't going to talk about it, but I think we should talk about it. Billy asked Tom to be a sperm donor. (gasps) Should we go in about the... Please, don't even ask. I want to hear. So here's another thing. Um, She wanted... Actually, do you want to explain this one? Victoria, I think that you should explain it. You got it. I want to, they want to hear it. There's 3,000 people. I don't know if I want to say it or if you should say it. Somebody's got to say it. Now you've already said it. Oh, Jesus. I'm like afraid. (laughs) What is it? I think if we don't say it, she's going to change the story again. So we're going to have to say it. So, So she asked Tom to give her a baby. Wait, and what? then she'd been telling the entire town she and asked, telling Karamo. She asked Tom to be her um, sperm donor, and she also wanted Tom's last name. It's like, okay, so? But then they're at an, at an event or a party, and someone, one of, uh, I, was it a friend? Who? Karamo from Queer Eyes. She um, basically told. Said, um, oh, I, you, I heard you guys are going to have a baby. And then. Um, yeah, so Tom immediately gone realized that he'd been that news has been traveled so he said no that's we're not having a baby and so did, billy, did tom you know, ever like think about trying to distance himself from you slowly because of that too as well billy was in the comments this entire time on up and adam's live and was like yeah i did do that like i did ask tom that like him and ariana offered to help me like she is not denying at all that she had a conversation with them about potentially having like a sperm donor um or him being a sperm donor for her the only thing she denies that victoria says victoria claims billy lee wanted to use sandoval's last name for the baby or something and billy's like uh what t remember t the one who was at whatever bar they were at when sheena was like oh and then i checked his location and then i checked it again i was like remember that and t went up to the bar and ariana was like how old are you and she said 25 and she goes that makes sense (laughs) that girl she was in the comments as well the only new stuff from today is that billy lee was posting about how she was going through her like old text messages to gather receipts because of this and reading back her and tom's old messages like made her realize how codependent and isolated they were and it made her really upset i had to look through all these texts obviously to see and get receipts and stuff you know and looking at all the texts i just realized like how codependent tom and i were like i can't stress this enough it was nothing ever romantic like i'm not attracted to tom like that it was he became more like this brother to me but like we were so codependent and isolated for a year and this just it just hurts Uh, looking at this text is just like brought up so much famous last words from a girlfriend the first girlfriend any man has after cheating on the previous girlfriend that they're different i'm different i'm different yeah i'm different also, that's just not gonna like. It's not gonna happen with me. Like, I'm not. Can get away with that with me, honey. <laughs> Bye.